All right, we have now moved on to section eight. Sorry, section five covering question eight. It says on grid paper, plot quad cold with coordinates one zero, two, two, five, three, and seven, two. A, show that quad cold is a trapezoid. B, show that quad cold is isosceles. C, identify and find the length of each diagonal. D, based on your results in part C, complete the theorem. The diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are blank. For this section, I'm gonna give you another 10 minute time limit. Go ahead, pause your video now. Question number eight started by asking us to graph this on a piece of grid paper. So I did. You can see I said C-O-L-D, okay? Well, in order for us to prove that it's a trapezoid, we must prove that a pair of sides are parallel and the other pair of sides are not parallel. So I first found the slope of all four sides. This had a slope of two. This slope had a, sorry, this had a slope of one third. This had a slope of one third. And this had a slope of negative one over two. Well, so since OL and CD were, had the same slope, that means that these two lines are parallel to one another. And we can note that by making a little arrow to indicate that those two lines are going in the same direction. Now, it asks for us to prove that they were an isosceles as well. In order for it to be isosceles, the opposite sides that are not parallel, our non-parallel sides, have to be congruent because those are considered our legs. So I said, well, the distance from o, C to O was the square root of five. The distance from L to D is the square root of five. So we would make the marking of little marks on these, our hash, to indicate these two line segments are congruent, which makes it an isosceles trapezoid. It asked us to identify and find the length of each diagonal. Now I didn't plot this, but I can. We want to find the distance from C to L, and we want to find the distance from D to O. Whenever I did the distance formula from C to L, I got the square root of 25, which is 5. And whenever I did O to L, I got the square root of 25, which is 5. So if both of the diagonals come out to be a measure of 5, I would assume that the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. On to the next section.